What's up you guys, Pluto here. I'm bringing you my first After Effects uh, tutorial. First of all, I would like to thank you for 100 subs. I really appreciate it. Just stay active, you know, it really helps a lot. And today I will be teaching you, teaching you how to do 2D and 3D motion track in After Effects CS6. And this is what I'll be showing you. You see how it stays still? That's what I'll be showing you today. So let's get started. First, you want to have After Effects, make a new project, and all that. Then you want to go to a new composition. Let's click that, and go down here and change the direct the duration you want, and just click OK. Next, you want to go and go to um get like a cinematic or a motion track uh clip that you want to motion track. Let me get my clip. Um, and my next, probably my next upload is going to be a CC pack. So just stay tuned for that. Motion track. Uh, I'll just get one of these. And um, get this clip. And you import it into your After Effects. And once that's imported, you want to uh, come on, clip, hurry up. And once that's imported, you want to drag it into the timeline. Okay, once you have that done and you have it into your timeline, you want to you want to right not right actually yeah, right click it and go down to you see track cap track camera and you click on that and then you make sure you want to click render track points make sure it has a check on it and so you see it says analyzing. In background step one out of two there's two steps so it takes a while for this to uh, to um, check the camera to motion track it so I will pause the video here and uh, once it gets done I will uh, play it okay you guys I'm back and it's done and once it's done you should see a whole bunch of uh, little colorful I don't know what to call it but yeah you should see this and once you see this, you should um hover over it, and you should get like a circle. And what you want to do here is uh, search around until you find like a nice flat place for the circle, and you want to click on it, and then you left click on it, then you right click on it, and go to create text and camera. And once you do this, uh, you click that. This is where your text comes in. So you go up to the Rotational tool is this uh, this circular object, circular um, thing right here, and then uh, you just want to make the text straight. So you go to the x-axis and just pull it forward. And you know you just want to kind of just center it up uh, wherever you want to put it. Yeah, and you just and all you just want to do is just trim your text up to the to wherever your clip starts starts and wherever it it, it ends. Okay, so basically this is all you do for the uh, oh, and also when you're done with your two D text, just uncheck the render track points, and this will the track points will go away. See it goes away. And once you play this out, uh, once you render a preview, yeah, you guys, while this is rendering, you know, you should uh, check out my other edits and whatnot. You know, help spread the word. You know, I'm trying to be a successful, you know, editor. You know, trying to get myself out there. 
that's sick and long ass time. But yeah, like I said, just thanks for 100 subs. You know, it's pretty awesome. Also, you guys want to check out my clan, Jam. They just restarted. Well, they ain't restarted. They just had a new channel. It got partnership already because we're a beast. But yeah, just check them out. You know, maybe leave a sub. Like. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's finished rendering. And this is how it looks uh, when it's finished done. You see how the text stands still is while the the video is playing. That's basically it. And for the 3D text, you want to go up to the top of the clip where it says renderer and click where it says classic 3D. And all you want to do is come down here so it says classic 3D, click the arrow button, and go to ray trace 3D. And this where this is it makes the like text and press OK. This makes the text 3D. Makes any object you want uh, 3D because it's a 3D layer now. So now all you gotta do is just want to go to your fucking After Effects keeps crashing. Let's see how much time I don't want to take so much time. Okay, now you want to go to your text and you want to click your arrow button that comes down <clears throat> right next to it. And then you should see, and then you should see uh, the options that says geometry options. Click the arrow button that comes down to, and then you want to see, then you see extrusion depth. This is what makes the uh, text 3D. So you want to come here, it says zero, and you want to click the button or drag it to whatever number you want it to, or you could just click it and type the number in. And you see how, you see how the text is getting thicker. The higher the number, the thicker it is. I usually recommend um, use 20 or 25. Yeah. You see how it's 3D. But yeah, that's basically it, you guys. Um, yeah. For 3D and 2D text, basically all you gotta do is for 3D, you change the text, you change the um, layer to ray trace 3D. And for 2D, you change it back to classic uh, 3D, you see. And then it goes back to 2D. So you guys, um, uh, this ain't the best tutorial, but you know it's a start for me because I'm this is my very first one. But uh, just like leave a comment below um, on what you tutorial you want next for the next upload. And yes, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Peace, you guys. I'm out.